what kind of marketing legacy has the Beijing Olympics left? I think it's left a strong legacy. When we started here, Chinese business and industry did not know very much about sports marketing, or sponsorships. They, uh, we started from scratch. They picked up very quickly. They have uh, done a great job. We have got more sponsors, more money than at any time before. After the Games, a lot of these companies are really interested in continuing supporting sports, sponsorships, marketing rights, also looking at the possibilities abroad. So my opinion is that uh, we have uh, left a lasting legacy for these companies. I am still involved in talks with many of them about the future. How can they, after the games in Beijing, position themselves vis-a-vis -vis sports? How can they do it internationally and nationally? So I feel uh, this has been a very interesting lesson for all parties. Is there a possibility that a Chinese company could go back into the uh, top program as a major sponsor? It is possible. We have, I have had some talks with some of them. Uh, because of the international financial crisis, this is difficult for the time being. But yes, there are some companies interested. Uh, finally, just a, a note about the legacy of the Beijing Olympics. We're here near the bird's nest, not used very much. The water cube is a tourist attraction, not necessarily a, a sports attraction. And the Olympic Village is still still shuttered, not been sold into private housing yet. Is, is there a, a legacy issue here? or I feel they are on the right way. I think most organizers experience a slowdown after the Games. I think they are doing pretty well to attract championships, events. You see a lot of tourists. I hear that... Uh, the Olympic Village, that the apartments are being sold. So I feel uh, maybe they started a little late, but they are working on it, and I think they will attract a lot of international events in the coming years.